taking yourself on holiday, darlings, when nobody else can come with you. For day eight with Marcel. I think UK chickens sound a lot less intimidating. <laughs> Thanks for picking my brains out. <laughs> Something revolutionary happened. I washed my hair. Unreal bikini is from PLT. It's breathtaking. Like, it's so breathtaking. Just thought I'd actually show you how I've been shooting. I'm literally like Dora the fucking explorer on this holiday. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of food. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Guys. Do you think that looks cool or do I look like a weirdo? Go and bloody enjoy your life because we have not been able to in so long. First time I've ever flown on my own, ever been on holiday on my own. Do you know what? I just feel like we've been stuck inside for two years and I'm just going to take every opportunity that I get to just go and do a little bit of travelling here and there. I am very lucky. I've been going to Ibiza since I was a little girl so I know the island like the back of my hand. I've spent so much time there over the years and our family have our own villa out there. Um, it's my uncle's but he's so sweet he just lets us go there whenever we want to we just take it in turns really as a family to go there I'm flying out today Monday the 5th of July I fly back on Friday the 9th of July just FYI by the way um, James just has to give four weeks notice in work and obviously the whole green list thing was pretty last minute so he's not been able to join me and also my mother was going to come but her passport has expired so that's great. Yeah, me and James are actually going back to Ibiza next month. So it's not too much of a shame that he can't come. I mean, obviously it is a shame. I don't want him to be watching this like, oh my God, she's glad to be without me. So here is my airport outfit, my PLT grey blazer. This is from their Lux range. Trousers are also a PLT Lux number. Um, I love the way that these sit on your hips and not like high-waisted. My new Zara bag, um, my French connection fedora hat and also a Kangol like racer vest thing just so i can take this off when i hit the heat so let's head to the airport nearly quarter to five in the morning i am just trying to find my way to the car park that i've booked i can't explain how much of a strange experience it is like driving to the airport on your own like driving yourself to the airport like having no one to get excited with like it feels so weird i'm literally just waiting for my gate info and then gonna head to the gate let me just show you how busy it is just in this one little bit alone guys i made it i have been literally sweltering i cannot wait to get a cold shower and just get changed and freshen up anyway i made it i am home it feels so good to be here i have not been here since 2019 and the builders have been in recently and it looks so different i cannot get over how insane it looks I'm gonna give you a little tour before I obviously make myself at home. Um, let me go out the front and show you. Guys, it's actually 32 degrees. Like, so hot. It's unbelievably hot. Hello, dog dog. You come through the front door and this used to be outside. Like this was like a little front courtyard. And then the upstairs, these stairs were still here with like the original tiles, but the stairs were outside, but now they've made them like inside, which is I think so much better. I just want to say, by the way, my uncle and auntie are very like spiritual, hippie. My uncle's Rasta, he's got dread. So you'll see like accents of that in the theme of the villa. But yeah, you'll see a lot of Buddhas and stuff like that around. Kitchen this is what shocked me because this never used to be open plan it used to be like the kitchen was just here so we've got the big fridge freezer which 
obviously I need to go to Lidl because all I've got so far is a bottle of water. So I'm gonna just head to Lidl in a bit and just get a few bits. Obviously I'm gonna like head into cafes and stuff in the daytime. So here's the kitchen now. Um, it's good that he's been able to bring some like British appliances here because we used to have to boil the kettle on like the hob. It was proper old school. Really funny, I bought my own stash of Yorkshire tea bags, <laughs> which you guys know I just can't live without. But this is like a family run thing, okay? So I just poured a glass of water out of the fridge and I was looking for a glass and when I opened just the first most obvious cupboard of course my uncle already has a giant bag of Yorkshire tea my uncle is a musician if you can't tell already so then through from the living kitchen area we've got a bedroom on the left so we've got the windows looking out onto the terrace which I will show you in a bit and then we've got the bathroom shower room it's got like a wet room kind of shower here then on our way back out from bedroom number one and the bathroom which is behind me we have got another bedroom again nice and cool in here it's really shaded in here not really sure which room i'm gonna sleep in maybe the other one I'll just keep this one maybe just to put my clothes on the bed and stuff like that before i show you outside i will take you upstairs like i said these steps used to be like outdoors there never used to be a roof on here now there's like a what do you call those like a sun what do you call them i can't remember so this is up here we go into bedroom number three which has its own ensuite around the corner it's just so different like i can't get over how crazy it is how different it is since i was last here and then but yeah the whole upstairs area i'm pretty much going to leave untouched i'm probably going to take some pics here maybe because it's a nice bright white background so then we head out onto the garden path got like the two big doors or the one little door there honestly this terrace area is just the most beautiful thing you can see there like the roof terrace goes all the way along the top of the villa so we've got table and chairs for all the friends that i've got coming over jokes more table and chairs you know in case i decide to throw a party this is just like the perfect chill area i always sit here got loads of random trees and of course another buddha i don't know if you're seeing the running theme yet guys um sun lounges there's also an outdoor shower as well which is really really nice i will probably sit here actually and eat my dinner of an evening um and i'm definitely going to be lounging there but there is also a pool which is very exciting so you go out the back gate let me just take you there quickly okay so the back gate leads out to here and then this is the walkway up to the pool there's i think six villas that share this pool so there's two including ours down that path and then the rest of them are like around it but it's so nice i'm going to show it you now how lovely this is where you'll find me for the next five days with nobody in my business all oh, honestly i'll probably be in the kids pool really cute because there's like an outdoor barbecue thing here and like table tennis and it's just such a nice little area to just come and chill away from the villa honestly get me out of these air forces and get me in that pool literally feels like home this place that we've got here is just the best best ever it's about 10 mins outside of san antonio it's like halfway between san antonio bay and calabasa if anybody knows ibiza um in a place called port des torrent which is such a beautiful area it's really residential which obviously we prefer we don't want to be in a touristy area when my uncle lives out here part-time i'm gonna have a cold shower unpack a little bit probably head out and get some food because i'm so hungry i've not eaten since dinner last night hola hola nearest bus stop is like a 15 minute walk which obviously in this weather you don't mind doing this little annoying thing on the screen by the way is a bit of dust behind my lens so we're just gonna have to deal with that throughout this vlog only picks it up in certain light i've just put on this little plt crinkle bikini these boohoo shorts and some asos sliders nothing special just a nice little casual outfit just done a little pit stop at the beach club that's up the road from the villa it's so cute in here we come here quite a lot it's on port des Trent beach i'll show it you it's so beautiful look how nice it is so cute look how insane this looks so fish and chips the poshest fish and chips ever eat this and then head into san antonio this has got to be the nicest fish and chips i've ever eaten in my life here's to taking yourself on holiday darlings when nobody else can come with you this is when you know you're in san antonio <laughs> not port des Trent. Doesn't this just scream like childhood holidays? Just bought a lilo, proper tourist behaviour. But I actually get really hot sitting by the pool and it's so nice to lie on one of these in the water 
Um, it's just so much easier that way. Here's the egg. If no one's ever seen it, this is it in all its glory. It does have a story behind it, but I've totally forgotten what that story is. Thank you so much. I'll just go and put the trolley back. Please don't run away with my weekly shop. I'm heading straight to the pool and that is where I'm spending the rest of my day and early evening. Um, I ain't moving from that pool. Right my darlings, tanning bikini is on. Does everybody have like their fave tanning bikini? Because mine is just like the two pound um, triangle bikinis on Primark. I'm just going to do a little disclaimer here. I, how do I put this? The last time I was in Ibiza, was 2019. I go extremely dark in the sun. I am mixed race, white and black African, and I literally catch the sun like that. 2019, that's where all the black facing comments started and all of the trolling started over my skin color. So just gonna put a little disclaimer in here. Yes, it is possible for somebody to be blonde and be mixed race and have blue eyes. It's just the way jeans work. And I probably am gonna gradually get darker as this vlog goes on. So let's all just keep racial slurs, racial comments, away from this vlog anyway that being said i'm gonna go and get browner how peaceful the most ungraceful thing you've ever seen in your life this is the absolute life did a very good job of not getting my hair wet Shit. it feels absolutely massive um and this is much better now that it's open plan yeah. And the bathroom's okay? Yeah, the bathroom's amazing. How's the lemon trees doing? Which are the lemon trees? This one? So that one there, that one's up good, nice and healthy. Yeah, they all look good to be fair. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. dead. That's a bit different. Yeah, it's supposed to be the same size as the other one. Got a bit of decoration though, so. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. That was me just on FaceTime to my uncle. Sorry, just eating a yogurt. I just showed him around, he's really impressed, which is good. My uncle and auntie actually get here on Saturday, so I leave Friday night. Guys, this is the bikini I'm about to go out and shoot for Boohoo. How nice is it? It's like crochet, which isn't the most supportive thing in the world, so I don't know if I trust myself to get in the water in it. But it's definitely nice for the likes of like Ocean Beach and whatnot. Um, it's stunning and I've got a matching kimono as well. well I don't really think it's matching. It definitely um, goes, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like the boho vibes, but yeah, I'm gonna head out there with what's left of the sun and try and get like a little golden hour pick so we'll see if this whole tripod on holiday thing works yeah say hi to the vlog hi to the vlog what ice cream are you eating cookie dough i went out and took some pics before in the bikini with my tripod they turned out okay even though it was just me myself and my tripod um but yeah i'm gonna head to bed and then i'll see you all tomorrow for day two in ibiza good morning oh how nice is it waking up the nice weather is like the best thing ever but how weird the milk tastes abroad i mean it's not too bad because i only have a dash of it and have my, my tea really strong also glowing hello i've only got like set amount of skincare with me because obviously i only took hand luggage so you're only allowed a certain amount of liquid my skin's doing all right i've actually got a bit of a spot coming on my head i can feel it no i've got old kardashians playing is it not just the best thing ever so i've had a bit of a sort out which means i'm feeling better everything's actually out of my case and i can see what i've got and what i need to shoot and stuff put all of my hair stuff here makeup here also put my shoes here who even needs one two three four five six pairs of shoes when they're here for five days also just spotted this book out of the corner of my eye there's a very 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 funny story behind this glastonbury book the year that glastonbury was like fully flooded and muddy like the worst year they've ever had my auntie and uncle were there they on their way out this photographer with like a setup a backdrop just a plain white backdrop asked if they could take a picture of them and they were like oh yeah whatever that's it and they never heard anything since then my cousin like a year later was at this art festival thing like an exhibition and they had this stand with all these Glastonbury books on she just picked it up and quickly flipped through and she just happened to land on this one page when she landed on this picture of my auntie and my uncle so that's my uncle Neil who owns the villa he's got dreads he's so cool and the funny thing is Neil and Sarah are their names and they've called them Candy and Mick so obviously all these people in here these aren't even their real names but it's basically just pictures of the weird and wonderful people that are at Glastonbury I think most of them were taken that year there's a lot of celebs a lot of acts in here as well okay you know when your hair 
is in this bun. There's a serious day of tanning going down. Just up, out of the way. I've just shoved on the white bikini top, but just put on just a lower cut bikini bottom just because um, the ones I had on yesterday weren't high at the front, but they weren't really high at the back. Why are bikinis like that at the moment? They're like a really funny shape on your bow. I'm gonna head to the pool, chill there for the day. Um, I won't bore you filming the pool every day because that's pretty much what I am doing in the daytime. Hello, I am back from a day of being at the pool. Um, it's six o'clock and before I got showered and got the oil off my body, I just thought I would shoot some bikini content. This unreal, unreal bikini is from PLT. It really confused me on how you do it because it's got like a drawstring at the back. Also, sorry if you can see my uh, hairy pits that do a shave, <laughs> which I will do in the shower once I get in there. Okay, so here's how the images turned out although i had to go not at the bottom of the stairs because it was quite dark i went to like the next bit where the light is actually shining down on me um but they turned out okay just gonna get a nice cold shower why is it not focusing a nice cold shower and then get ready and my plan is to head down to alma beach which is just down the road watch the sunset get a bit of grub and just enjoy my own company pretty much the same as every other day on this holiday okay very quick turnaround i'm showered and ready let me just prop you up this outfit is so nice tonight's outfit for day night with myself um top and skirt are both plt the way this sits and the way this sits is very um illusional and it's very very flattering let's go get some food and hopefully watch a very beautiful sunset the only thing is with port des trent beach is that um a lot of it is like seafood and i don't eat fish so annoying that i'm walking against the sun how much better is the light in this way i am so thirsty i definitely should have had a drink of water before leaving the house how gorgeous so this is the restaurant that i'm gonna eat at um hopefully they've got a table for one person guys i am in my element sorry if you can't hear me i'm right next to the dj booth and the sax player wherever he's gone but look how gorgeous this food is it is like chicken noodles chicken wok and then bread and alioli as a core it's like our local beach this is called restaurant beach and there's a company that i bought it recently called alma beach Club, and they've got a few different restaurants on here <laughs> Being in the same, mummy, you joking? No, I did go for a swim in the pool though. Oh, was it nice? Yeah, it was lovely. It was so hot today, it felt like I was in a bath. Gonna make my way back before it gets dark. Can we just talk about my nose for a minute? Why does it look absolutely fluorescent orange? Is it the hat? God, I'm just trying to be a cowboy in peace, you know. Good morning. Today, I mean, the sun is coming out, you can see it's coming out, but it is a little bit cooler and a little bit um cloud. i don't know if cloudy is the right word just a tiny little bit overcast but it looks like it is gonna pass but i'm actually quite glad because i really want to go to calabasa one of my favorite beaches here in ibiza and it's just nice to do something like that when it's not like boiling boiling hot and not just purely sunny because when it's that kind of weather i like to be sat by the pool is anybody else like that can you hear that that's the chickens next door um not gonna lie i think uk chickens sound a lot less intimidating because the other night when i heard it for the first time i literally shit myself and thought and thought there was an actual monster on its way to get me in the garden tell me that doesn't sound like some of a horror film because it definitely doesn't sound like a chicken here's my brekkie got two kiwis and a pastry because i am absolutely starving so just getting ready just about to do my skincare i've just popped on this boohoo crinkle bikini um has got a double strap on it the second strap is supposed to like wrap around your waist do like a cute little tie thing um don't want to wear it because i'll catch a tan this is the scarf that i picked up in primark it's so nice it's literally just from the scarf section and i've just tied it like a little sarong um you would have seen this in the holiday shopping vlog that i did with chloe i'm just popping on a bit of clinique moisture surge which is just a dream as it is but on holiday this hydrates your skin so well and then mixing in a bit of my ren skincare s 
SPF 50. So in my stunning looking beach bag, we've got, got a shirt just to put on um, over my bikini on the bus and stuff. Um, sometimes the drivers are a bit funny about it, sometimes they're not. Hand sanitizer, oil, Act 50 lip balm, a lip liner, um, just in case I feel like I need it for a picture. My tripod and a towel and now a bottle of water and some grapes. Um, I've got my purse and everything in there with some change for the bus. I'm just going to change my battery in my camera, get the keys to lock up and then I'm good to go. Guys, hang on, let me take my mask off. Ugh, you cannot hear me with that. One of my fave spots here on the island. There's the bus that I've just got off. Sorry, it's going to be extremely windy here because it's near the rocks. Look how beautiful it is here. I can't cope. They have like a full on private dining experience on these beds here. And it's so stunning. Guys, there's a massage tent here. Found the Lighter Bites bar and it's right near the viewpoint. Oh my god, this is just stunning. Look at this. This place just reminds me of my family so much because we just come here all the time when we're all here. But look how unreal it is. And even on a cloudy day, just look how blue the waters are. Like it's honestly one of the cleanest waters. You can see right through. Guys, I literally feel like I'm at a kid's party. Ordered hot dog and chips. I just really craved something stodgy. No one else here, just me, my grapes and my water. trying to see if I jump in will I make it back out because it's quite steep and the current's quite strong um, and I'm not the best swimmer so maybe maybe not today on a windy day hello hello I am home while well, I've been home a while I FaceTime my mum I thought I was just going chill by the pool for a little bit got my earphones I'm gonna listen to my audiobook currently listening to um, Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. I have listened to it before and I've also read it, but I just like listening to it when I'm just chilling. It's a really cool book. God, it's so clean. The guy must have been here to clean it. Probably set up camp, maybe here, I think. Because I think the sun, when it comes out, will be on this bed here. To shoot this absolutely beautiful gold outfit um, from In The Style Billy Fair's collection. I hopefully I'm just about to catch golden hour because the sun is just getting lower and I think it will go really really nice with the outfit. Do you know what is the restaurant Estorrel? Oh right so you need to go back out of here yes. and then follow the road right round back onto the main road. You turn left and you'll see a sign for Port Torrent Beach and it's just down there. Okay. Okay so look for the signs for the beach and you'll find the restaurant. Okay. Okay Thank take you. care bye. She goes on her way. Hopefully my directions were sufficient enough. Oh that looks quite nice down there guys. Let's go down here. Let's go on an adventure. I'm literally like Dora the fucking explorer on this holiday. Oh golden hour this is the stuff that we live for um only thing is the sun is facing the wrong way for the views might go here that's quite a nice background maybe hmm i need to be quick anyway before i miss the sunset okay pics are done i thought whilst i'm here even though i'm in proper nice clothes i might as well go and chase the sunset because you all know that's just my favorite thing to do wait until you see i mean inappropriate outfit inappropriate footwear but wait until you see this view it's honestly it's breathtaking like it's so breathtaking oh my god wow look at that there's literally nobody here either how amazing oh my god sunsets are my favorite thing a little reminder that even bad days come to an end and every sunset it's a new opportunity, my darlings. This is steep. Imagine if I dropped my camera. I'd probably jump in and swim after it knowing me. Guys, would you believe it? It's just started raining. Like how? Um, that's what all these little wet lodges are. It's not crazy rain, it's just like a little shower, but the edge is so slippy because of it. So here's one last look at the beautiful sunset. And now I'm ready for bed. Oh my god, there's a lovely doggo. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Where did you come from? Morning. 
my darlings happy thursday on my way up to the roof terrace because i'm gonna have my morning brew up here this morning i'm just gonna show you the view you can actually see where i was sat you can see where i was sat um watching the sunset last night which is lovely it's so nice up here you can just hear the sea the sea just through that little gap there and that cliff is where i was sat last night watching the sunset how gorgeous um i'm gonna sit here and chill and have my morning brew. What a place to sit and have a cup of tea in the morning. Guys, something revolutionary happened. I washed my hair for the first time this holiday and oh, it's horrible not having all of my usual products. Like the worst thing ever, just shampoo and conditioner. How fucking basic is that? I'm just gonna shoot this bikini for PLT. Air Force One's on just because I've got a white bucket hat. I mean, it doesn't suit me all that much, but I just think it goes with the vibe. Like it's really, really cool. So do you get the vibe? Like the white and the white? Do you think that looks cool or do I look like a weirdo? I shot the bikini, well, at least I think it's come out okay. I need to have a look through the pictures. But I really need to come to the bus before the COVID testing centre shuts. Everywhere shuts for siesta in Ibiza at lunchtime at like one o'clock, I think it is. So I think the clinic's probably going to be closing from like one till four. So I just want to get it out of the way, you know? Over your mouth with the mask. Okay. Like only the mouth, okay? Just my mouth, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Maybe I'm. Oh. Don't you need to do my mouth, no? No. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're Am I all done? Yeah. Take your email. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. I'll just have a little look. Ashleyloydsayreport at gmail.com. Yeah, that's the right one. Fine. Fabulous. Well, thank you for your help. Yeah. Thanks for picking my brains out. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I am sweating from walking home from the bus stop. I'm going to down a lot of water. That is a good idea because I'm feeling a bit dehydrated. Look at my shiny face. That's actually sweat. It's not, I can't even say that. It's just a healthy glow because it's actually sweat. Hello from a very exotic has got matches the dress. I love the dress so much um, in the style, by the way, this fit. So I'm just going to go to a little family run bar and grill restaurant which is just down the road which is super handy because i won't actually need to get a bus anywhere i could just walk and come back and they do the best the best steak so i'm gonna go there because i know i love it there and it's family run as well which i just love supporting like the local family businesses over like the bigger chains we are on the way oh my god it's such a beautiful evening look at that sun it's just something about being on holiday just makes your skin glow doesn't it how bloody lovely is it in here i'm thinking bread and alioli of course don't eat the olives chloe and willow are normally here to eat my olives and then considering it's my last night i'm thinking of treating myself to the fillet steak which is my fave steak it's the only steak that i ever get to be fair so the waiter just bought this over i think he said it was chicken but he's brought it over for me to try perks of eating out on your own people feel sorry for you you get free food looks very very nice looks right up my street oh that's a lot of food thank you, <laughs> thank you so much Enjoy. thank you you i'm not gonna believe the size of this steak like, sorry how unreal oh my god this is literally hooked to perfection steak restaurants in the uk need to up their game because normally fillets are tiny in the uk this is actually huge i don't even know if i'm gonna finish it i needed rolling out of that restaurant have i got bread and alioli on my face considering i'm right on the beach anyway i'm just gonna well it's half an hour is it yeah till sunset so i'm just gonna chill here and get a drink here's my little nightcap the sun is just setting how beautiful. Um, I never normally drink coffee, so pray for me and my heart. Cheers to my last night on this beautiful morning. Hello! Look at your little dicky bow! Hi! <laughs> oh, you are bloody beautiful. It's kind of like stuck behind my retainer, it's like cutting me. I am going to wash my face and then head to bed ready for my last day here tomorrow morning happy going home day although i'm not particularly happy about it i'm not gonna lie just wish i could bring bumper and james here and stay here for like the rest of the year that would be fine yeah my uncle and my auntie get here tomorrow morning obviously i leave tonight 
so i just need to like strip everything wash my towel and i have a good clean of the villa today i've literally barely been upstairs other than the roof terrace so thankfully it's only down here that i really need to have a good clean off and then i've got a couple more things that i need to shoot a couple bits of swimwear and a couple of dresses so i'm gonna get that done this morning while it's like cooler because today is supposed to be like the hottest day that i've had here okay just about ready to go out and shoot a last couple of outfits before i can chill out all day my hair has just not curled well at all but it is what it is cave woman vibes are okay with me i was going to put on with this dress h&m by the way i was going to put on these olive um platforms from asos but i think the orange might actually go better my primark orange and i can have the little matching bag i just thought i'd actually show you how i've been shooting as i'm out here so i've got my tripod it does fall down really really small but it's just effort getting it back up again i don't mind looking like a mad woman carrying it okay so i'm thinking of going in the sun here so i've just set my phone tripod dumped my stuff down there and yeah hopefully they turn out okay but we will see well guys my very last walk to the pool just gonna go and get a couple of hours of chilling before i have to ring a taxi and finish packing the sun is absolutely beaming today get me on that lilo i've been asleep on the lilo for over an hour <laughs> i've just woke up because i set an alarm in case i did fall asleep i'm gonna get out now i'm sorry it's my food off need to finish cleaning and i think i might walk down and grab some food to eat just so i don't have to eat or anything in the airport bye pool until next month Promise you. Guys, it's so hot, I literally don't even fancy anything to eat, so I just got this smoothie. Also, the restaurant where I ate fish and chips on that Thursday, that lunchtime, I just walked past it on the way to come here, and the guy come running out, and he was like, whoa, he was like, you're so brown. Like, look at my legs, because my legs do go, like, really, really brown. said, like, they've got a DJ on there tonight, and I said, oh, I'm going home this evening, and he was literally gutted. His boyfriend is from the UK, he's really, really nice. But I just said that me and James will definitely go there for like one of their like event nights when um, we come back next month. I've got an hour and seven minutes until the taxi's picking me up and it takes me like 20 minutes to walk back to the villa. So I'm gonna finish this, pay the bill and then be on my way. Whilst I'm sat here literally waiting for the taxi, I've got the front door open so I can see it. Yeah, I guess I need to end the vlog here really because I'm about to make my way from Ibiza to Manchester Airport where my car is parked. This has been the best five days like, I could actually cry. I feel so refreshed. And whilst I'm talking about whether holidays are worth it in general at the moment, which they absolutely are in my opinion, I know loads of you are gonna want to know about traveling alone, how I have found it. Maybe I'll do a whole other video on that but it has been an absolute joy and an absolute breeze and honestly it's almost liberating like going out doing your own thing not being on any time schedule just getting to do whatever the hell you want for like well five days that i've been here it's just been so nice like so so lovely and i love my own company i think it's really good to align your headspace and your mindset to just be in yourself and honestly get out of your comfort zone because the thing about comfort zones is that nothing ever grows there. So just book that flight, go and do it, and go and bloody enjoy your life because we have not been able to in so long and we all deserve it. Well, that's my little motivational talk over. Um, it's literally probably like five minutes now to my taxi there. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Any Ibiza questions, traveling questions, anything at all that you want to ask me please just pop in the comments down below there will be a link to my instagram down below as well so in the meantime please come and say hi over there but otherwise over and out from ibiza and i'll see you all in the uk bye